But that so, was very much the atmosphere, doesn't it? And totally. again, that's why the Me Too campaign mm. is so yeah. brilliant, because it's not OK. Well, it's just yes. not OK in any way. What I feel that is that all these people who've suffered from shame, they've been shamed into silence and feel the guilt, which is yeah. classic, something I did, you know, I inadvertently brought this upon my shoulders. Um, it, it has to be flipped. The people who should be feeling guilt and shame are the perpetrators, yeah, exactly. not the victims. Exactly. After your mum said that to you the second time round, yeah. what were then your thoughts on the whole situation in general? I mean, up until this Me Too movement, were you confused about whether it was right or wrong after getting two really conflicting It got very normalised in my family, what had happened. You know, that's just what he's like. You know, he continued to be a family friend and come <laughs> stay with us and things, which seems very odd to me. Now, I think it wasn't until I had my own children and I was older that I suddenly thought, hang on, that's really not OK. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. If anyone under my roof had tried anything on with either of my children, uh, I would have, you know, ripped their eyeballs off. But you've got a girl and a boy and they're in their 20s. Yes. Have you told them? Yes. And, my daughter is sitting right here, actually. And OK, she? so when you, were, <laughs> when you were bringing them up and they were teenagers, were you setting, telling them how to set boundaries? Yes. I said, you know, for, just be clear the sort of things that can happen. Uh, be very clear saying no. I mean, I think, like, this whole hashtag Me Too movement, it raises the issue of communication between the genders and women being really clear about what's OK and what's not yeah. OK. And, that it, you know, I think it's getting better, but certainly when I was growing up, I was brought up to be a nice girl. Mm -hmm. You didn't talk back to grown-ups. No. You couldn't tell them mm -hmm. yeah. to, you know... That's so true. Yeah, yeah. and, and I, I was conflicted. I didn't want to be rude. I didn't want to hurt his feelings. I didn't know how to get rid of him. Mm. Whereas I think if young people now are told stock phrases, yeah. please don't do that, that makes yeah. me uncomfortable, yeah. Stop touching me there, I don't like it. Yeah. You know, just very clear messages. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it, it, communication is key. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Sarah, we're running out of time, but just very, very briefly. Yes. You're doing well in yourself. We, we mentioned yes. earlier on you've, you've fought breast cancer. It was a lengthy battle, but you're doing well and keeping well and life's good. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is there going to be a third series of Doctor Who? Oh, uh, that's on, the question, me. isn't it? Well, Come I on. don't know. Is the truth? Mm -hmm. I don't Is that know. really the truth? I'm looking into your eyes. I'm yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I've heard. I've heard both. I've heard Saran Joe saying maybe. Yes. Yeah, there's been lots yeah, of maybes. Lots of maybes, yeah, so yeah. we'll see. Well, as you say, you're busy now with Unforgotten, uh, the ITV The third series. series of Unforgotten. So that's all film. kicking off. Yes, anyway. yes yeah. absolutely. Brilliant. OK, oh, Sarah, thank you so much for being so My honest pleasure. about that. As we say, this is what the Me Too campaign is all about. It's about talking for all of us to feel brave mm. enough. Yes, and speak. you know what, I just briefly, because I know you're running out of time, but um, is that when I say to my female friends, I'm hard pushed to think of a woman who hasn't had yeah, an yeah, experience. Yeah. Women go, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And when I say it to male, male friends, they go, really? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Yes. really? Mm. And I go, really? Yeah. And so this is me just going, really? Yeah. It yeah. is happening. It happens to everyone. Absolutely. I mean, I really, uh, I can't think of a female friend, something really? hasn't happened to.